Hey everybody, this is not a spring check and the big news is the NSA is keeping their, well, let's just say they're a bit busy because they're in search of all the people who went to go see Superman on Friday and Thursday midnight showings. And, oh wait a minute, if you're lucky, maybe a Wednesday night midnight showing. Well, for now we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans! Oh yeah, because... Uh... Yeah, uh, they blame the, um, the, N the Republicans have been blamed for the problem with the NSA because it's George Bush and the Republicans. And what they're doing is that they snookered, the, the House snookered uh, Obama into thinking it was something other than what it was because he believed what the House leadership was telling him and they were lying to him. They were? They would do something like that? The problem is, is the people that are running the NSA were all put in there by Obama, not by... Uh, the Republicans. So. In Hong Kong, civic groups plan march in support of Snowden. Oh yeah, because uh, I love it. The, the, all these people, they're indignant. Well, how could he have done this? Because he destroyed our security. Well, the problem is, is that when you break the, the when you violate the Constitution of rights of like 300 million people, and that you're doing it to everybody in the world. Every <laughs> one guy said yesterday. He said the facilities they're building. Is bigger than a, some small cities, and they're building that for to hold information, which means they have what? no intentions of ever letting it go. Uh huh. They said they can understand, you know, you running checks, but they, they're asking, well, we've caught all these people, we stopped all these, and then they say, well, can you tell? Well, we're not at liberty to tell you who we stopped because it would, it would be a breach of national security, and we then wish Tix says. Yeah, uh, in other words, you actually can't prove anything you're saying. Well, it's, we can't because it would violate national security. Mm -hmm. Which means, uh, I remember my father told me he was a police officer once. When he, he was on a sign, what do you my father was a police officer? He said, he went into the station and they had just uh, arrested somebody before World War II started. And he said, well, who is that? We can't tell you. Well, what's he done? We can't tell you. Well, where's he going? We can't tell you. And he said, uh, he, he, he said, but he's speaking German. And he said, well, because if he says an actor, I've known the guy most of my life. You have? Mm -hmm. and, and that was security back then. They basically arrested a German, a, a American actor that spoke in Ger because he was German. And they sent him off to somebody. My father said he didn't see him again in Hollywood before the war, and he didn't see him again until the 1950s. And you know what the guy said? Mm -mm. He said, well, I've been in a jail cell without any charges since 1938. Mm -hmm. No charges since 38. No charges yeah. since 1938? That's right. Wait a minute, what year is this? Yeah, this happens to be 2013. And they've been doing this stuff for a god awful long time. But back then they had a law called the Alien and Seditions Act. And basically that's how, most people by now know my, my uh, wife was Japanese. Yeah, and her um, her relatives in this country spent World War II in an internment camp, mm -hmm. even though she, you know, her relatives were born in the United States. They weren't Japanese. Her mother was born oh. in Japan, but her relatives were all born here. They came to this country in the uh, uh, in the Wild West days of California, not to work on the railroads, but to supply. Uh, they basically sold, they were a conduit between Japan and the United States for things that the United States needed, which was basically workers like the Chinese. They sold Chinese laborers is what they did. Most of my, was my great grandparents laborers? Oh, God, yeah. In Hong Kong, civic groups plan march in support of Snowden. Tick says she read that one already. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, and Japan approves National Security Council bills amid China tension. Yeah, which means that, what? okay. The Constitution in Japan directly prohibits doing what they're doing. They are not allowed to arm themselves. But because Obama basically, I love this, this morning, found out that Obama is buying military uh, repair parts for our equipment from ship, from China. Mm -hmm. And you'll never get, oh, you know what Tick said? What Tick said? The Democrats took that as an opportunity when the Republicans complained. Well, if you allowed investment in our infrastructure, we wouldn't have to go purchase military uh, parts from other countries. And they said, uh, okay. Oh, Tick said, who did we sell Hummer to? China. Tick said, who did we sell uh, parts of the aerospace industry? China. Who do we do every, who is Obama selling our country off to? China. Did the Republicans have anything to do with it? No.
Mm -hmm. And U.S. quietly allows military aid to Egypt despite rights concerns. They're not quietly doing it because they know he's selling. He's selling a modern. He's basically not even selling. He gave them a modern air force to put down problems, even as he knows that okay, the, uh, they're getting ready to overthrow the court system in Egypt and make it a total Muslim run thing. The courts basically. Uh, or have been keeping the courts ruled that the election of all the people that are currently in office was done illegally because the law specifically says the Muslim Brotherhood may not hold seats in Parliament or in the presidency of the country. They have a president that's had a Muslim Brotherhood and an entire Parliament that's Muslim Brotherhood. They're forbidden from serving in office in Egypt by their constitution. Mm -hmm. And Austria to quit UN's Golan Force over Syria violence. Yeah, because they're basically they're actually shooting at people. <laughs> they are. Okay, here's a trick is, um, uh, Michael, a lot of people now know that Michael Caine got shot in the rear end when he was a UN blue hat during Cyprus. He said his butt stuck out from behind a tree. But uh, the blade, they take a, instead of simply wearing regular military uniforms, these idiots put uniforms on to make them stand out to everybody. So you stand off a half a mile, hey, there's a blue helmet, boom. <laughs> That's really smart. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just have to laugh. <coughs> well, they said obviously this was done by politicians who had never served in the military when they created the outfits that these guys wear. <laughs> it's like you wear a red jacket to show that you're not. The, uh, uh, okay, my, I know. <laughs> my father. My father said in World War II, he picked up more dead, you, uh, more dead Red Cross workers than you could throw a stick at, because he said that they would see that big red cross on the thing and they. Um, they just shoot them because they, it was a target from a, okay, that's what you had to aim at from a long distance if you were a sniper was that, so they shot it, that, that was their target. And then they got, oof, we just shot a Red Cross person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And conservative groups say IRS, yeah, they were a target. Yeah. Conservative groups say IRS practices hurt their ability to raise money. Okay, the, the trick is, is that, that if, they okay uh, if they pin this stuff on the on the election committee of Obama, they can basically negate this election, folks. Because yeah, of, but he's already in office. Ah, but they can throw his rear end out of office. That's what they're talking about. Oh. If this was if he was fraudulently elected, he can be removed from office. Okay, so then what would they do? Since would they go back to Romney, or would they, they go back? They would go to... back and hold. The, it would be the first time ever. Okay, the, um, they can't put. They, they could only go to, uh, so what it means is president. that uh, Republicans would be, the next president of the United mm -hmm. States would be John Boehner. Because they would throw the, they, can't, they won't hold the election again, <laughs> they would just simply put the next person the next in line, point, line, which is John Boehner, and then he would choose the vice president and all of that stuff, because you, a oh, project, that's, uh, Monica, that's almost as bad. No, I know, they get an idiot as president. They, they got another idiot followed by an idiot. They said, uh, but they said that uh, that uh, I, I love Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly, who said, "Well, we can't be certain that this president basically is is uh, is not running the president. Uh, you know, is not disengaged because he's just simply not being informed by his people. Um, he's the emperor's new clothes, folks. He doesn't want to be informed. What he doesn't know in Chicago won't hurt you." Mm. And conservative groups say IRS practices hurt their ability to... Oh, wait, we already said yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. U.S. agency Apple infringes Samsung patent on older iPhones and iPads. Yeah, they stole everything from... They, uh, they Basically, the operating system used for theirs is based off of Samsung's Android. Well, wait a minute. I thought Apple was from... Um, they, Microsoft. Ah, uh, no. My, no, the operating system for the Apple computers... Oh. Know, basically, they ba was basically, uh, okay, let me put it this way. Apple and Microsoft's operating systems were created by exactly the same people. Alan and um, one, Alan and the people from Apple, and Jobs and one exec went one direction, uh, and, <laughs> um, and, Mike, and the people with Microsoft went the other direction. But I thought Android came from <clears throat> Google, not from Samsung. No, uh, the, op the, the original operating system was created, okay. Android came from Samsung developed for Google. Oh, Google never wanted, Google basically didn't create the Google phone after we saw it, it worked beautifully. 
Oh, I would love to have seen. We were anxiously waiting for them. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. That when you know something is wrong and they keep telling you that nothing is wrong, then you're either imagining it or something is actually wrong. 